Hi guys, welcome back to the under two minutes series and today's topic will be approach to short stature. So how is short stature defined? Short stature is defined as a less than minus two standard deviation from mid parental height, the child's height that is, or a less than five centimeter per year of growth for the child. Uh, the first thing you have to rule out is secondary short stature or primary short stature. So secondary is because of an underlying GI or endocrine cause and if that is present then yes it is secondary short stature and if it's not it's primary short stature. Let's deal with primary first. So the first thing you have to rule out is if there's any dysmorphic facies present in the child. If yes, is it proportionate? So what do you mean by proportionate? That means the arms and legs are proportionately short compared to the trunk and the head and the child overall is short in a proportionate manner and no discrepancy in the just the upper limb or lower limb length. So if it's a yes, then it could be Turner syndrome or Down syndrome and there are many many causes for proportionate i'm only listing the most common things that you might encounter and no then it's achondroplasia which is one of the most common causes of disproportionate short stature if there are no dysmorphic facies you'll have to continue to assess three important things the first thing is growth velocity projected height and bone age growth velocity is simple it's just the amount the child is growing per year uh, projected height is equivalent to the mid parental height and bone age uh, is basically how far along a developmental process is the child so a child could be five years old but developmentally only four years old so the bone age will correspond to his developmental age so depending on this there are different causes which cause short stature uh, if the growth velocity is normal and the bone age is less than the chronological age that means the child is growing normally but just hasn't hit his growth spurt yet and he's developmentally younger than his chronological age that means it is constitutional delay of growth and puberty now if the velocity is normal and bone age is the same as chronological age that means the, the child is not developmentally lagging and the projected height falls within the mid parental height range then it's familial short stature now you assess the child and you find that the velocity is less and the bone age is less than chronological age then you have to further evaluate for endocrine or secondary causes so let's go to that for secondary causes of short stature the most common cause in developing nations is undernutrition so you'll have Korshaker, marasmus pem those are the causes of um, undernutrition uh, secondary you have malabsorption causes such as celiac disease and IBD and endocrine causes such as growth hormone deficiency hypothyroidism and congenital adrenal hyperplasia and if you have any of these secondary causes kindly refer the child to a specialist